Hello everyone, I'm going to show you an easy way to grow lemon trees from lemons you just purchased at your grocery store. Um, it's very easy. I'm going to show you the way that we do it and the solution that we use to, uh, to get them to sprout really quick. Um, and so, well, let's get right to it. Let's get, uh, I've already cut the lemon open. Let's peel these seeds out of here. That's a good one there. I'm going to dig, it's going to be around the center. It's a small one. There's three, four, this one's buried in there, five, those are five pretty good seeds right there. I'm going to cut these in fours. And what you're going to get when you uh, grow these seeds here, you're not going to get the exact replica of the parent, but you're going to get some sort of citrus, it's probably going to look like a lemon, it's probably going to taste like a lemon. It's going to be a little bit different uh, if you are into hybridizing, you'll know this, but uh, nonetheless, we will get a citrus plant out of here. So it looks like we've got five good seeds here, uh, maybe six. This one's kind of deformed here, so we'll try it. Um, and basically what I'm going to use is, <clears throat> you can use anything. You can use a paper towel, napkin, whatever. I've got a napkin here. I'm going to grab these seeds, and if you can see that. We got five pretty good seeds here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fold this up into fours. There you go. So that way it'll be easy to stick in, <clears throat> into the Ziploc bag just like that. We got a Ziploc bag. We got our markers here. So let's make our solution. Basically, what we have here is Water, I've emptied a little bit of a, a little bit of water out. This is a nine ounce bottle of water. And I've got some hydrogen peroxide here. It's regular topical hydrogen peroxide. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this cap up. All right, we're gonna dump this into the bottle of water. And what this is gonna do just from experience, this is going to speed up, help to speed up the germination process. Now you might look at other videos. You may have seen some other videos on how to do this. Um, you know, there's no need to peel these seeds. Just using this, uh, this solution here should help out greatly. And all I'm going to do is just going to lightly sprinkle this on to the paper towel. Uh, I don't want it dripping wet. I want it damp. Okay, so let that soak up. A little bit more on here. There you go. Just so those seeds will stay damp in there and it's going to help germination as well. I think that's pretty good. It's not dripping wet. You don't see water dripping off of this. Um, it's just damp. So there you are. We're going to slide this into our Ziploc bag. Slide it in just like that fit perfectly in there. Let's seal it nice and tight. And then let's label this. Today is August 18th. Put a little date on there. There you have it. So once again, um, this is just the way that we grow a lot of our seeds. Um, it's common practice for us. Gonna leave this out on the countertop somewhere. Doesn't need a whole lot of heat, doesn't need a whole lot of sunlight. It will grow just like it is. And make sure you guys come back to watch the follow-up video, video number two in our lemon tree seeds. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Appreciate it. We'll right, see well, you in welcome the next back to our video. lemon tree video series here. And today is gonna be video number two. Uh, if you remember first, uh, the first video we had uh, was on August 18th. Today is August 30th. So it's been 12 days, and we're about to open the bag to see what's going on inside of it. If you remember right, I actually used a napkin, and it's probably from a napkin from some sort of uh, restaurant or whatever that we had laying around. Uh, I don't think I'll do that again because I see some mold growing out in this. So uh, maybe next time a clean paper towel probably work a little bit better. But uh, let's see what's going on here. I don't know where the seeds are at. Oh, one fell out on the... Oh, they're falling out. 
Ah, we got three seeds there. This one fell. This one fell. So, yeah, we've got some uh, roots here actually. Put these up to the camera. That one's doing really well. I'm going to set the ones that are uh, rooting here on the table. You see that root right there? That's a good sign. And this is just from a lemon that we bought at our grocery store. Just pulled these seeds out. You can see the ones growing. This one's starting to protrude. And I didn't do anything special. Um, the very tip. I didn't do anything special to these seeds. Other uh, videos that I've watched, they tell you to peel off the top layer. Um, and that's not necessary. So, there you go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant these seeds now. But yeah, like I said, um, there was nothing really to it. It was pretty simple on the first video. Um, just use a little bit of the water solution mix with hydrogen peroxide. We did not peel any of the outer covering. And you can see they've grown just fine here. It's been almost two weeks. So... This one's got two roots actually in two weeks. Pretty cool. Well, basically what I'm going to do is we're going to just drop it in. Got a little solo cup here. And get a little water on this. And hopefully we'll have a little citrus plant here starting to protrude here in another week or so. So, um... It's off to a good start. That one's got two roots. So that's all we do is um, we'll set this on a sunny uh, location in our kitchen. Give it a little bit of sun every day. Uh, if you've got a greenhouse, you're lucky enough to have a greenhouse, put it in the greenhouse. You'll be just fine. So just uh, remember to keep it watered. And that's it. So thanks for stopping by on video number two. And if we get a little bit of green here uh, coming up here in the next couple weeks, I will also show you guys uh, another video. Keep you up, uh, up to date on the progress of what's going on with our lemon tree. So... Thanks for stopping by again. We'll see you in the All next video. All right, welcome video. back to video number three in our three-part series here on lemon tree seeds. And I don't know, I may show a fourth video, maybe when we get some, some really good growth on this guy. But if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And you can take a look at video number one and two down below in the comments there. I've got links for those videos. So let's get right into it. You can see this is about six weeks uh, since our last video we uploaded. So you got six weeks of growth here. It looks really good, really healthy. Go ahead and bury a hole in here. I'm using Roots Organic as the soil main player in our soil here. But we've got some more topsoil mixed in along with some dime size pine bark mulch. So let's get this guy out here. Lemon tree. And see how he's doing on the roots here. Oh yeah, they look really good here. We got some real nice roots started there. Already getting to the bottom of the cup. So we're going to transplant it. About time to transplant this guy into its pot. It's going to stay in here for about at least another year, and um, it should have a really nice uh, period of growth here. Got a lot of room to work. We're going to pack this thing down and pack it tight around the base there. Make sure it's in there good. Definitely can breathe with the pine bark mulch and all the um, goodies that's in the soil. So I want to make sure you got a good, good pack down. One thing I like to do, uh, let me show you guys this. This is... Uh, We've got a little bit of kelp meal here. I'm going to go ahead and spray this on the foliage. And it's going to help reduce against shock. Uh, we just pulled it out of its uh, setting there. It was nice and comfortable growing in that cup there. But we want to go ahead and get it into a pot. So the kelp meal, it's uh, basically just a super feeder. It's going to feed through the leaves. And it's going to help absorb any of that shock that it might take. And uh, let's take a look at the product here. This is... Uh, Super Kelp, this is from, you can get this online. I'll post the link below in the below the video here so you guys can go take a look at that. Um, really good product, like I said. And let's make sure we water this good. Nice, healthy dose of water here. Soak it on the bottom. You can also use that kelp spray uh, for soaking the roots as well. Um, don't get me wrong, but uh, it seems to do better just going right off onto the foliage there. All right, well, that's going to about do it here for this video. I guys appreciate uh, appreciate you guys following along in these three videos. 
And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I've got plenty of video content loaded up on my channel right now. So hopefully you guys got something out of this and you can start growing your own lemon. So thanks again, guys. We'll see you guys in the next All right. Go into one of our uh, cold frames here. Let's see, we've got all sorts of stuff growing in here right now. It's May, Northern Ohio. So um wanted to show you guys six months. Oh, one of our rainbow trees fell over. Oh, wanted to show you guys something really cool. Um, well, first, I guess I'll show you this since this fell over, but you can see all the limbs on this rainbow tree. And like I said, another game changer that I've been using is roots. Or I'm sorry, a uh, root maker pot. You see all the holes there. And basically what happens is the root hits this air in this hole and then it just basically just causes this thing to leaf out you can see all the new leaves up top branching out everywhere um, pretty cool stuff so this is a rainbow tree this is about a foot tall it's doing really well and um, really liking these new pots here but let's get into the video and the reason why we've made um, while we're making this video today is because it is our sixth month anniversary to our lemon tree. Look at this guy. This is six months of growth. So we started this in November. Just from a little seed, we sprouted that seed. And look at this thing. It is taking off. It is gigantic. We've got it in a one gallon pot right now. And I don't know. It's doing really well. So six months, look at this guy. I would say I am expecting, or now we're feeding it. We're feeding it with seaweed uh, once a week. And other than that, it's just in some really good soil with a lot of perlite, some pine bark mulch up front. But this guy is doing so well. I would expect this to fruit maybe in another year, maybe two. But it's doing so well right very now. Very exciting stuff. Got a little burnout down here no big deal um, it got really cool in here um, early May so had a little burn no big deal hope you guys enjoyed this six month update on our lemon tree we'll see you guys in the next video hello everyone this is video number five I can't believe we've made a video five but uh, I have had a request on our lemon tree to see uh, see an update from several people. And the last uh, request we had was from Purity S. So Purity S, I'm making this video for you and for all the other folks that has, have requested to see an update of our lemon tree. And you can see it's doing quite well. It's in a one gallon pot. I really can't complain. I've been using this Neptune seaweed and it absolutely loves that uh, fertilizer. It comes in a liquid form. I'll go ahead and leave the link down below if you guys want to check it out. I get it on Amazon um, for a pretty good deal. But uh, anyways, it just eats that up. And uh, I feed it uh, like once a week, maybe sometimes twice a week, uh, depending on if it's been a real dry and hot period. I will feed it uh, a couple times a week. But really only needs once a week. And I uh, just follow the instructions if you guys wanted to check out the uh, Neptune seaweed. Anyways, uh, so it hasn't been quite a year yet. And this thing is absolutely taken off. I cannot believe um, how big it is and how well it's grown. Um, I've got uh, I've got to expect some fruit maybe next year. I'm hoping. I'm thinking about doing a little pruning next spring, and uh, we'll see we'll see how that goes. But uh, like I said, I just want to give you guys an update. I've got a measuring stick here. I want to show you guys how tall it is, and I'm going to measure from the base because it's in the pot from the base to the top of the tree, so it's not accurate measurements i guess but it gives you an idea how big this thing is um so like, like i said it's got one gallon pot you can see the base of that not very good lighting i do apologize for that this cold frame doesn't have the best of lighting but uh this thing is absolutely outstanding um let's see if we can get a measurement here so for everybody else around the world your metric is on the right side there and uh for us here in the states it's about 32 inches doing quite well it's got some nice branching here it's starting to got a three branch effect going on there you got a branch coming off the bottom here so it's doing quite well guys cannot complain i cannot wait to see a fruit on this lemon tree for you guys 
and uh, be able to share that with you as well. I appreciate all the requests. I appreciate all the feedback that you guys have given, all the comments to the video. Keep sharing your comments and your experiences, and we'll see you in the next video.